And here's another crucial security issue that poses big risks for the U.S. We could suffer a national blackout that could last for months if attackers knocked out the country's electric transmission substations. That warning came from a frightening new report from the government. So just how vulnerable is our electricity grid? Eamon Javers takes a look. A relatively small attack on U.S. electrical substations could render the country powerless for as long as 18 months. The U.S. government report was first revealed by The Wall Street Journal this morning. In it, the government estimated that a strategic physical attack on just nine of the country's nearly 60,000 substations on a hot day could cause an epic economic and social disruption. But industry representatives say they're already taking steps to shore up the system. Now, we are facing some new kinds of threats, so I don't want to suggest we're complacent at all. But what I do want to stress is that we uh, are continually looking at ways to enhance physical security. Last year, unknown gunmen fired weapons at this substation in San Jose, California. The attackers fired for 19 minutes, and they knocked out 17 transformers. The attackers fled and have never been caught. Although it didn't cause a blackout last year, the attack rattled power industry experts. The day after that attack, we had companies on the phone talking to Pacific Gas and Electric about what happened, how they dealt with it, uh, sharing information. So we worked together in a mutual assistance type approach in these sort of situations. Today, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission responded to the disclosure calling the Wall Street Journal's reporting of sensitive information highly irresponsible. FERC also said that just last week it had issued new mandatory security guidelines for certain facilities. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eamon Javers in Washington.